Hi, Shining Ones. It's Nova Cynthia Art, 13D Starseed Art. And the light keeps changing really crazy. <laughs> I'm sharing my new Leo glyph with you, which is done with Master Touch Acrylics. I did a demo and review of the paints and the brushes, two brushes and the varnish with the first coat on it in my last video. So this is the one I wanted to show you the finished painting alongside August Flame in Winter, which is why I just have to keep it. You can see how well they go together. I'm playing with the sun and uh, with the camera lighting here. That's a little bit better. And I started it twice and redid it and the sun keeps changing. So this is what we got, friends. I love you. I'm sending you new moon season blessings. We're in this new moon cycle, and it's a creative cycle. It began with a stellium in Leo. <laughs> the new moon, the sun, Venus, Mercury, and Mars. And that's good creative energy. That's good energy for all of us. And we have trines and squares and south node stuff happening, and it's all about deciding what do we want to do here. How do we want to create and structure anew our life for this next six months solar cycle? And a new moon in Leo began it with a stellium. So that's a lot of creative power for all of us to put our life forward the way we want it to make some big changes, open up some secrets within our hearts and our being, what's in there. <laughs> And for me, it's bringing you Divine Feminine Transmissions of my Divine Feminine Essence within me in balance with my Divine Masculine and birthing my Divine Child, which I have. And I'm bringing all that into balance now. So I will be bringing you some beautiful videos with me in my process and sharing and share, sharing that with you so that it can inspire and encourage and inform you of my journey and there you go get you like knowing some tips and some things that are happening within me that can inspire you to be more aware and focus on them happening within you change that color again so with the Leo glyph that beautiful pyramid kind of shape because it is three-dimensional um, and it actually does have five sides if you include the back <laughs> so I love triangles and I think of that as a little pyramid shape too and the August Flame in Winter I did uh, I think it was 2000 2000 or 2001 I created that near my birthday that year too during the Lionsgate and it was a shamanic self-portrait of a shamanic dismemberment when you're brought forward to be all that you are within yourself and to strip away illusions false self-concepts and to step into your power your responsibility your life your light and August Flame and Winter I was born in August August 4th and I am a Lionsgate baby and I had a golden lawn come to visit me this year right as the Lionsgate was opening okay very exciting so the Leo glyph I could feel in my body and I gave birth to it and uh, <laughs> I didn't even wasn't even consciously thinking of or aware of what a companion piece it would be to August Flame in Winter August Flame in Winter is an oil on linen and it's 48 by 36 inches two inches deep done with the most spectacular beautiful oil paints and the those are gambling oh yeah they're world known they're the best you can really get and that Belgian linen underneath it I left it a wheat color and used a medium that gambling creates to seal the linen so it wouldn't be deteriorated by the oil paints and then 
I allowed some of that beautiful golden wheat colored linen to show through so it warms and tones the whole painting. And with my sweet little Leo glyph there, which is 12 by 12 inches, and done in a totally different medium with acrylics, which I was reviewing and unboxing for the first time, um, it's amazing. You have the reds, the oranges, uh, fuchsias, purples, and the golden glyph, whereas in August flame in winter, I was using a beautiful Naples yellow mixed with some white, and it gives that flame essence mixed in there with those beautiful cadmium reds and deep, deep reds. So, and of course, it has a heart on it. I'm all about awakening our multidimensional heart, getting in touch with our Venus heart. Venus is definitely working through at this time to help us awaken our multidimensional heart. And I am a Venusian star seed, <laughs> Syrian star seed, Lyran star seed, and a 13D star seed. Your resident <laughs> artist, clairvoyant, starseed, <laughs> bodhisattva, loving you, loving me, be free creative sovereigns. And so there's my little Leo glyph that you can see there's some really beautiful golden paint on there. A little maybe hard to see from this distance, sorry about the light changing, but we are in my bedroom slash temple room. And the light keeps changing, and this is what we got, babies. This is what we're working with. But I'm sending you so much love and wanted you to see how, how the painting toned out. I'm going to move a little closer here in a minute to both of them and give you some up-close details. The varnish turned out perfect on the acrylics, and I'm real happy with it. So I gave a demo on how to varnish a painting. And uh, that's in the last video, which there's a link to it. So if you didn't see that yet, pop back over there and check that out. Um, this is like a three, four part series where I show you how I created this Leo glyph. <laughs> so we're going to move in now. Let's move in. Let's move in. We'll move into the little Leo glyph first. So now... You can see the metallic paints. Let's try to give you a little more of it. Yeah, that's a lot more like the painting actually is. Sorry, the light keeps changing. And I'm playing with it on the camera while I'm filming, just hoping to get it through to you so you can actually see it. There is so much texture on there. Let's move in close. Check out those textures. I will put the next coat of varnish on there and do a little mini film that I will uh, show you how to varnish in the other direction. You have to varnish in two directions with two coats. That's a gloss coat on top. And yeah, there. Now you're getting some of the richness of that painting. And there's my NP. That's my Nova Priest artist shaman name. So I created a little glyph for my name, my artist shaman name. Uh-huh, look at those lush, deep textures. And that was so much fun to create. I did use Italian paint knives along with the two brushes, uh, beautiful bristle brushes from uh, Master Touch, a number 20 and a number 12, and three Italian painting knives, which are fabulous. And they were also used on August Flame and Winter. I want you to get a, a look at the sides. They're part of the image, always. And you can see how nicely that varnish did work. It will protect it from dust, strengthens the uh, structure of the painting as well. And it brought out, I've got a combination, which you can see here, from high gloss to a uh, subtle sheen, a satin gloss. So the varnish helped me bring that out and put the whole integrity of the painting so the whole surface moves together with those different textures, different sheens, and creates just a really lush, lovely Leo glyph with Leo energy, baby, celebrating 
oh, this new Leo cycle. Again, when I speak of the cycles I'm speaking of with sidereal astrology, where the planets actually are. And as we're speaking, there's a slew, a stellium, still in Leo. So there we go. <sighs> so much fun, so much light, so much love. <laughs> love Light Nova, be free creative sovereigns. Yeah, there we go, enjoying that beautiful Leo cliff, Leo energy for all of us. This impacts all of us. I am a Cancer Leo cusp in sidereal astrology. Husha shusha mokani kisho. Suaka kumanika tocha kumokano. Salata kumana kusha shimini kumakasam. Sharing some of my love light, my galactic love light star language with you. Bringing you blessings, blessings, creativity, clarity, and your awareness of your divine masculine and divine feminine within you during this new moon season and during this beautiful <laughs> six month Leo new moon imprint. Oh, yeah. And so we got like a couple of weeks here, a few, few more days for the clarity to form our plans, work with Saturnian energy, and structure our life the way we really want it. Because this is the time to create for the new, we are creating the new hearth. It is changing dramatically for all of us. And it's about bringing our fullness and our true selves forward, babies. <laughs> Boy, that light keeps changing. Maybe it's meant to. Now let's move over here and check out some details of August spring and winter. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. I'm gonna bring the light through. That's that is pretty true to the painting. Pretty true to the painting. So let's get up there check out some details on that. And you can see I signed it Nova Priest, a shamanic name. Now what we're going to do is get in close and start to really check out the details. This is bliss here. That's wound. That's healing the wounded heart. I carved that in there with a dental tool, okay? <laughs> and I actually took my fingers and worked into this so you can see my actual fingerprints and my DNA is all over this thing. I always do some finger painting when I'm painting. And uh, so here we go. Here we go. More textures. You can see the kundalini fire rising at the spinal column. The decapitated head and that's in a Kali sense of the ego, the false ego just being, you know, like a samurai warrior, rainbow warrior, taking that head right off. Kali does that for us. And I've worked with Kali Ma for many years, and she's been a blessing and a blessing and a strengthening into my personal power and life and continues to be and will ever be. So Jay-Z, hey, this is for you. I love my Kali that you sent me for my birthday. Thank you. Thank you, love. My beautiful daughter. Okay, so I want to show you up close some places where you can actually see right in there. That's the beautiful linen just glowing through right in here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> mm, I love paint. You can tell that. I've been painting since I was a little girl. And then I went to uni, but I was already showing with the professors there in five states. So I pretty much clapped out on the first two years and went in as an entering sophomore and with junior and senior capabilities. Went right into filling in a few gaps and studying cultural anthropology as well, creative writing. And all kinds of things, sculpture, art history, which I already, again, clapped out on that and 
did help change the department's view of art, looking at a papyrus piece and the way that the Egyptians actually viewed space wasn't a flat plane. It was more like a multi-dimensional plane. But that's another story. <laughs> wow. Mm. Just want to share this with you. Share the textures. Again, right there, that's fingers. You know, I'm just taking the fingers, sticking the fingers and doing that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I use those Italian, Italian painting knives on this and a series of beautiful bristle brushes that only use for oils. Some of them Robert Simmons, others Italian brands. So here's the heart of Venus, babies. Here is the heart when it's been wounded and how we heal that heart, how we release our false ego. And bring the healing through. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Subscribe, like, share. If this blesses and blesses you. Leave a comment. And uh, help get the channel out. Let's build our love light family. Let's awaken our multidimensional heart. Let's do that together. Let's create the new earth together. Let's bring creativity, love, healing through. Let's bring the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the divine child through. Let's birth our high self, the divine child within us. Let's live our life with respect for the divine masculine, the divine feminine, balancing that within ourselves and blessing and blessing ourselves and others with that that we are, with that beauty that we are with that divinity, the divine trine, the alchemical marriage and the alchemical birth. Blesher, the wound, it heals now with all of us coming together with our great love, bringing that forward, grounding that, anchoring that on Mother Earth with Mother Kea Sophia. She loves us. She's awakening her multidimensional heart and remembering her balance and herself as we are doing our work <laughs> as divine beings of spirit, soul, light. She's doing hers. We are her children while we're here. We are one awakening, multidimensional heart. I bless you and I love you. Bye, star seeds. Till we meet again, I'm sending you the message. Love lot, know lot. Be free, creative sovereigns. <laughs> Shushu Shimoka Sita Shimi